The special teams seemed to work for the Raiders, but on the following kickoff, they gave up a 28-yard return, bringing the ball out to the 41-yard line. So the team from France got back to work. But while the Raiders' return coverage struggled, the run D excelled, holding the flash star running back Marceline to one yard on the two following downs. And on third down, QB Welsh was forced to pass the ball. A bad drop by wide receiver Artich Moni ended this drive for the French. And defensive back Manuel Eisenfuhr let the receiver know what he thought about that play. At that point, the flash head coach wasn't pleased by the execution of his offense. The Raiders got the ball back with a chance to increase the lead. Johnson didn't hesitate to put the ball into his receiver's hands, this time to Diplinger for seven yards. But the Raiders' offense kept clicking with passes and runs by Grind, who gained an average of 4.9 yards per run on the day. The Raiders' attack had the opposition on their toes, with Grind, Proler, and Diplinger coming up big. But then another disaster struck for the silver and black. I have never seen two broken legs pretty much ever in my whole career. And to have them happen twice in the same game, one on the right leg with, with, with Emmy and one on Matt, well, was completely unbelievable. And now he's hurt. And it was kind of one of those things where we all looked around and said, who's next? But the Raiders kept the pressure on, going to the air. First, Johnson would find Proler over the middle. Then the youngster, Julian Ebner, all the way down to the one yard line. We were just running. We were, we were moving the ball very well. Um, you, don't, you don't want to screw with momentum. And so you keep that momentum going and you see what happens. You know, sometimes you got to take chances. Sometimes you, you know, you got to see what the other team, how they respond. They look tired. You know, that's the way I looked at it, and you know, we're, we're going for it. Flash would strike back instantly. Nummer 23 wieder mit dem Return. Und jetzt muss irgendwo der Tackle her. Das ist die Antwort. Das ist ein Kickoff-Return-Touchdown für die Franzosen. Antoine Saillon. French side cut into the Raiders' lead. At that point, it was just 13 to 6. On the two-point conversion, Tim Hunt batted down the pass, and it was then up to Jason Johnson and the offense to answer with only two minutes remaining in the first half. You know, when there's less than two minutes to go and, and the ball's in your hand, it's no longer about the coaches. It's about the players and the quarterback, and I want the ball in my hand. I'm looking right at the scoreboard. I know exactly how much time's on, how many timeouts I have, what plays I want to call, because you don't have time to ask your coach for plays at that time. So, you know, at that moment, that's what football's all about. That's why I love to play the game, is for that moment when you forget about the crowd, you forget about where you are, and you are just in the moment, and it is just an incredible feeling. Johnson drove the Raiders to the two-yard line completing all six of his passes for 57 yards on the drive. But with four seconds left and the ball at the two, it was Florian Grein again, who got the ball with the exact same play that he had scored on just minutes before. If they can't stop it, then you're gonna keep running it. So you still run that same play over and over again. And we had a lot of success with it, so we kept doing it. And we kept running it, and we kept, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And uh, it was something that worked for us, and we kept doing it. The Raiders would tack on an extra point, making it 20 to 6, and the teams made their way to the locker room. The Flash needed some adjustments, their only points coming on a kickoff return. 
Their offense hadn't done anything to this point.